Hello and welcome to this tutorial of CFD using AMSYS. Today we're going to solve the following problem. We have an annulus pipe. The fluid is flowing through the orange region and we'd like to find the velocity field at the outlet of the pipe. The first thing to do is to open workbench. Under toolbox you will see fluid flow fluent. Drag that over to project schematic. Rename it anything you want. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. So now we can start sketching the profile of the pipe. After you select your appropriate axis, you can go to sketching, rectangle, and try to move to the point that is exactly one unit above the x-axis. This program doesn't have the snap feature that Inventor has, so you have to be very precise with this step. You can see exactly where you are at the bottom right. See right now we are at the position 0, 1, so we can start drawing the rectangle. So just set any arbitrary dimension for now. You can go to dimensions select the uh, general sides and we would like to change H2 to 10 meters that's the length of the pipe and V1 to 2 meters so then we can go to concept surfaces from sketches select the sides and click on apply so now we click on generate and now we have these, uh, the surface that we would like to work with so we're done with this stage we can close the window and we can move on to the next part Stage number two is to create the mesh on the surface that we created. So we double click on mesh. Once the window is fully open, uh, we need to create uh, the names of each edge of the rectangle. So to do that, uh, we click on edge right over here. We'll click the first edge, right click, and then we click on create named selection. We will name this edge as the inlet. And then we click on the outlet, right click, create a name select, named selection. We will name it outlet. Similarly, we will name the outer and inner surfaces. Under the outline, you can see that the named selections appear here. Now to create the mesh, we need to select two oppo opposing sides. So we will start with the inlet and the outlet. Click on mesh, go to mesh control, and then select sizing. This will create the edge sizing. We go over here and then we uh, under the type we will select the number of divisions this will determine the number of cells along an edge so for this edge we will select 60 divisions and we will change the behavior from soft to hard uh, this is important because it will prevent the software from automatically altering any constraints that we put 
Now we will choose the outer and the inner surfaces. Again from mesh control we will choose sizing. We will change the type to number of divisions and we will select 300 divisions. We change the behavior again from soft to hard. Once the step is completed, we can go to mesh con uh, control, select face meshing, and then we select the surface. Click on apply, and then click on generate mesh. If you click on mesh, you can see that the mesh has been created and the cells are uh, square in shape. If you want to check the quality of the uh, mesh, you can go under the details of mesh, expand quality, and then select whatever parameter you are interested in. For example, you can check the skewness. This will give you some information about the skewness. We can see that the skewness is very close to zero, and this is ideal. This brings us to the end of this stage. After we complete it, we can close the window. You can right click on mesh, and then click on update. You should be able to see a green check mark if everything is uh, finished successfully. The third stage is to double click on setup. Select double precision and then click OK. In this window, we will enter all the necessary parameters and flow assumptions. Once the window is fully open, we will go under the general task page. Uh, make sure that the, that the steady option is chosen because the flow will be in steady state. Since the flow is through a pipe, we would like to choose axisymmetric. We will not check on gravity because we will assume that gravitational effects are negligible in this problem. And then we can go to, the, to models by double clicking on it. Make sure that all the necessary parameters are selected to the desired uh, option. In this case, they are. So we will go to materials. Under materials, we will click on create. You can enter any name for the material. For example, fluid A. We will choose the density to be one kg per meter cube and the viscosity to be 1 kg per meter second. This is an imaginary fluid. But you can also take realistic values and enter them here. We will click on change, slash create. The fluid is now created, so we will close the window. Next, we need to go to boundary conditions. Click on inlet. The type is velocity inlet, which means we need to specify the velocity uh, at the inlet. So we will double click on inlet. We will choose the velocity magnitude to be 10 meters per second. And this will be normal to the boundary. Click OK. The outlet will be pressure based. And we want the exit pressure to be at zero gauge Pascal. Uh, this is the value by default. And then make sure that the inner surface and outer surface 
are selected to be type wall. Next, we go to monitors, select residual, we need to de de decide the convergence criteria, so for high accuracy we will choose 10 to the power of minus 6, this is for the continuity equation, the same thing applies to the x velocity component and y velocity component. Click on OK. Next, we can go to RAN calculation. We need to enter the number of iterations. Of course, if the, this number of iterations is not enough to meet the convergence criteria, we need to iterate again until uh, convergence is met. And then we click on calculate. You can see in the console window the number of iterations and how much each component is uh, converging. So once all components have reached to at least 1 to the power, 10 to the power of minus 6, the simulation will stop. The simulation is taking a long time because of the high number of meshing cells. We can see here that one component has already converged, which is the y velocity, but the others are still away from convergence. The solution has finally converged, so the simulation is stopped. You can see that if the solution is converged, you have to get this message in the console window. So we needed about 900 iterations to get convergence. The last stage is to check the results. So you go to this part, results, plots. You go to XY plot, double click on it. You go to y-axis function and you can select whichever um, parameter you want to check against. In our case, we want to find the velocity field at the outlet, so that's the one we're selecting. And since we're, we're doing it on the radial direction, we change the plot direction x value to 0 and the y value to 1. And now we plot it on the outlet. Plot.